Hi everyone, it's Andrzej Krzywda from Arkansas. Today I decided to play a little bit with a piece of code which comes from a tennis game example which is part of the refactoring katas repository and there is uh, like one repository for every uh, language so I decided to choose Ruby and see where we got. So usually those kind of katas they come with some code which is not perfect and some tests which should cover everything or almost everything so that we don't have to worry about uh, testing coverage. So here we have this example where probably we are provided with some kind of input in terms of numbers, but then we are, what we are expecting is um, is the result provided in a different way. So I'm not a tennis player, I don't really know this kind of, I don't know, dialect or domain language of playing tennis, uh, but apparently if it's 3 to, three to 0, they say 40 love, which is funny, but it's probably true. And then there is also uh, the order of players here probably. And here are some tests. I, I commented out some other implementations. So we can go back here and we can play with this. Okay, to the point. Uh, so let's start some refactorings. I'm not even sure where I'm, where I'm getting. Actually, my point with this video is actually to show some refactorings the tests are running and some refactorings where, uh, you know, I just look from the bottom, from the code perspective, what can be improved. So, um, mm -hmm. So here we have, okay, let's try to read the code. So we've, we first say won the point and what's the player name. And then we say, well, then we try to ask. So this is like the, the, me the method to actually do something or remember something, change the state. And score is just the representation. So give me the, the string, which is the result in a nice tennis way. And here we have, so even RubyMine is showing me that this variable is set to here, probably is used somewhere. Um, yeah, so it's used here and here, but it's probably doesn't need to be given that it's used only in there, then this declination is not needed. So Ruby mine is right. I can delete it, run the test and they, they should be fine. Um, what else? I, I usually, when I see nested if statements, I have one trick, which I don't even know what's the right name. Maybe something like replace if conditional with a guard. And what I do is I do an early return. So if we have this situation, uh, which is a draw, then um, mm -hmm, which is probably this, whatever that means. So let's let's first refactor this into a draw result method. I will probably come up with better namings later. So for now, I'm just okay. Result equals draw. So if we have this if statement and we hide everything else then we're just returning the result. So actually what I can do is I can return um, draw result immediately, run the test and see if they're passing, they are. So actually what I can do is what, what was my original goal is to do something like this. And now this else if becomes if. So I just reduced one if statements and it should be working. Now, uh, now we have the advantage or win situation so this is a different okay let's just hide everything in well should we hide it if it's point bigger let's say okay it's a advantage or win result right so here is uh it's returning some string and let's well usually when i do automatic refactoring i don't run the test because it's kind of I, I trust RubyMine in such situations and I think I can just return because that's an, an, the same situations as before and if I can just return and it works then I can do something like this again and if it's working then I should be able to just remove this run the tests and improve the alignment so, so. all right so now we have those, those kind of two guards and if we have it like here now now we have this code in this shape obviously i'm hiding some of the ugliness behind methods because the the, the nicest thing i want to achieve in the, immediately is like to get the the high level algorithm more clear uh, so this is a weird thing this is kind of a loop from one to three so it's actually looping only one two three okay three times but for the first elements, it does something, and then for the others, it does something else. 
I wonder if I can restruct this to be... So what does it actually do? So for the first element, it's just assigning the first part of points. Mm. Right, and then it does the mappings. And for the second time, okay, it, is, it does this thing where where it appends the dash and then it appends the second point. So probably it's just a representation in, a, in terms of a, a you know ongoing result, which is not draw result, not advantage or win, just some kind of ongoing result, probably. Uh, so let's see if I can actually first ongoing result. Okay, it doesn't have, obviously I can't name it Ruby. So result equals ongoing result. Does it need result here? Oh, okay, it does need because it's a pending. Uh, but at least I can probably... No, maybe this refactoring doesn't really bring me that much. So let's look closer. What is happening here? Temp score, and then we are immediately mapping this temp score. So actually what it does, it seems to be... Uh, can I... Do I feel brave and risky here? Should I try this? Mm, because maybe what is happening here is that we just want to return uh, at least that's my understanding from this code perspective so I'm assigning temp, temp score just to use it here this is some kind of what is this ongoing result names okay So this is refactored out and then it's temp score here. So temp score. So actually what I can do is I can say it's okay, let, let's just remove this for now. Uh, we are still working, right? Okay, it's green. So I can kind of inline whatever is happening. Uh, so temp score is this, but... So I, I also try to remove all the all the local variables, like usually reducing all of that, all of them is a, is a good thing. And so let's try to do this thing here and we just not need to replace and see if this is still passing. Okay, uh, so result plus equals because this is this. So maybe instead of having this result as initial string, we can have it like this. And now it's result plus equals, result plus equals. Yeah, because we know it should be said. But actually, I think it's, it's getting really, really easy now. So probably instead of the whole loop, I feel now safer to say that what I'm returning is a string. And the first part of the string is ongoing result names for this. And then we have the dash. And then we have this part. So If I'm right, then this whole thing is not needed. And this whole thing is not needed. I can always I can always control that if I'm wrong. But it's actually good. So this is uh return ongoing result. Okay. Uh so this is better. I I believe I have done something here which makes it a little bit better because I, at least I can see the algorithm, but there is still things are showing me that there I can just proceed with the uh, with the implementation. So what I can do here, like I, I'm usually looking at, okay, whatever is sh almost like shouting at me was wrong. So this part accesses P1 points, draw result. Oh, okay, because for draw result, we never need those points. So first of all, it kind of screams to me that we probably will benefit from a result object. Maybe we'll benefit from points object. Uh, it's not clear. And maybe given that we have some different kinds of results, maybe actually they are representing uh, different classes, different polymorphic classes with the same thing. I wonder if I can... Okay, let's me, let me try this. So let's do let's call it module tennis i write to f keep things in 
and modules even though the, the first part is not because sometimes you can't really change whatever is the, the main part but now I will try to move everything up there so I want to have a class called uh, draw result was the first one draw result and for draw result let's say I want to have uh, points that's just one point because the draw result that's the characterization that um, I will have just this. Uh, so you see I'm writing this class but I'm not really writing tests because I'm not using this class yet so this should be fine. I'm just more like um, repeating. So draw result is this method. So I'm copying. I'm, I'm not cutting. I'm copying. And draw result is this. So this will be fetch points draw result. Um, so actually what I want probably is a score method which so this method would be the one that is um, that will be polymorphic I will, I will show you what I mean so we will be using some kind of polymorphic approach here so for draw result what we can do is first of all okay draw result draw result um, right so we want to have tennis Draw result new. And the first point would be enough. Okay, now it's getting a little bit uglier to say it like this. Uh, I wonder if this works. Actually, now it's actually bigger. Something like this. Okay, I'm not sure why I'm just adjusting this, but hey, this is working. So I just replaced the draw result. Okay, so I can remove this, which is nice. Um, I can obviously have something like draw result so I can hide it but it's I still I believe I am still benefiting from the fact that this is um, oh shit so I can have the same for I don't know ongoing result right ongoing result names yeah so at least i can hide certain stuff so okay class and again i'm still not per not, not certain that uh, that i'm using the right naming here so that's okay points and points two equals points two Right, that's my pattern for, and then we want to have the score method and ongoing result will be, so I can just move it, reuse it here. So this part will go there and I will just re, rename it to points one and points two right and we need to have ongoing result names so and that was only used in one place so i can just cut it now and that was also can disappear and i will make it private because it's never used outside of this and run the tests ah that's i broke it so how did i broke it ongoing result for tennis game going result for okay return i'm going result because this disappeared right because obviously i now need to have yeah that's why okay i didn't really need it um uh, uh, p1 p2 and score and this should be working and now i can extract it to ongoing result right Okay, it's uh, 14 minutes already, so I will stop here, but there is more of it. So let me know, please, if this is of any use for you, if I should proceed in the next video with what we've got, because I, I see lots of potential to, you know, to have more uh, uh, extractions. And obviously, at the end, we can debate whether it is better or not, like uh, whether it's better maintainable just because I'm creating new classes or is it actually uglier and worse and so on. 
So this is, I, I'm not judging right, right now, I'm just following my gut feeling that this Ruby code should go into this direction, but I might be completely wrong. So let me know and thanks for your attention here. Thanks for watching the video and see you hopefully next time.